These changing times and Americans' new appreciation for the value of their public land resources gave birth to a new agency and a reorganization of several government agencies signed by President Harry Truman. The Grazing Service, created by the Taylor Grazing Act, and the General Land Office were merged. The new agency was called the Bureau of Land Management, and its jurisdiction spanned what remained of the vast public domain, stretching over 175 million acres, mostly from the Rocky Mountains to the Pacific Ocean. These new BLMers were a rugged group, made up of range experts, landsmen, surveyors, and others. They were not your typical government bureaucrats. Their challenge was to administer hundreds of sometimes conflicting public land laws passed by Congress, some dating back 150 years. Being a national agency, however, BLM leadership was set up in Washington, D.C. Its first director was Fred Johnson, and with most of his 695 employees, two to 3,000 miles away. He set up shop in a new building near the White House, built by Secretary of the Interior Harold Ickes during World War II. A new director was named in 1948, a visionary by the name of Marion Clausen. Armed with an agricultural degree from Harvard, Clausen recognized the strength of the agency laying its field offices out west. He decentralized the BLM, moving as much decision-making authority as he could out west where the public lands were. He also recognized managing land stirred controversy, once declaring, to keep BLM galloping, a certain amount of hooping and hollering is necessary. <laughs>